Many Discord bots have dashboards. Well, at least some do, and it's usually most of the bigger ones. So if you want to add a dashboard to your bot to make it a lot easier to use, this video is just for you. I will say though, before watching today's video, you should have, at least if you want to know what you're doing and add on to this later in the future, at least a bit of HTML and CSS knowledge so you can design your bot dashboard and then at least a sufficient amount of Python knowledge and preferably Nextcore and Discord.py would help too. But without further ado, let's get straight into the coding. So what you want to do is first create your own bot. Now if you probably have this, you don't have you can skip this step. If you don't then I have a video on how to do that. I'm just saying the mic's really bad, so just, I guess, kind of be wary. But I suppose you should have this if you're watching the video. And what we're going to start off by doing is importing the modules. We're going to be using three modules, which will be pip install, part, which will be the actual HTML, all of that, which will run the web server for us. And then do pip install Quart dash discord. This will be the authentication for Quart, so we can actually authenticate the user, so they can mess around in the bot dashboard. And lastly, it's gonna be pip install nextcord. And this is because discord.py got discontinued. We're gonna be using nextcord. So, uh, that's why we're installing it. I already have all these installed. You can see requirement already satisfied and such. So I'm not gonna have to do anything special. But you're you probably are so just make sure you install all of them and yeah now let's get on with coding the bot dashboard so when coding it we're gonna create this in a new file and it's gonna be called dashboard.py so just click that little button here and create dashboard.py so this is a completely blank file and we're just gonna import all of our statements so do import os and this is already pre-installed with python so you're not gonna have to do anything with that I do from Quar, import, quar, and then do render underscore template, and then predicate, and then URL dot four, underscore four, like this. And then we're also gonna have to do from quar underscore discord import discord o auth to session. And then a comma requires authorization and underscore unauthorized. Like so. Now, this is what's going to be used to log into Discord and manage all of our errors. This is what's going to happen for actually running our web server and grabbing all of it. And lastly, we're going to do from nextcord.ext import IPC. And what we're going to do is just import Nextcord. So we're going to use Nextcord for the IPC because after this video, on the next one, we're going to actually connect our dashboard or the authentication with our actual bot so we can access bot data, such as if the player or the user is actually has like uh, the similar servers and such. So you're going to need this just ahead of time. I suggest you put it in so you don't forget later on. But now what we're going to have to do is define a variable called app equals, and we're using quart, so quart, and quart, just like so. And then over here, just pass in underscore, underscore, name, like so. And now do app dot, or app dot secret key. And I'm just going to call this secret key or subscribe this can be anything you want just you're gonna need to make sure it matches up with the other secret key later on and then do os dot evron which is environment and then oauth if i can spell it, lib underscore insecure underscore transport equals true and this will make 
this is just because we're gonna be testing it so keep it like this if it if we're not testing it then keep this to false so if you're finally gonna publish it make sure this is false just so everything is as secure as it can be and now what you want to do is do app dot config and pass in a couple of things so this is all caps by the way discord underscore client underscore id and then equals and leave that blank for now and then we can do actually just copy this four times and then change this so the id in the second one has to be changed as secret and i'll show you how to grab all this soon after this this has to be ready kit um if i can spell that i think i spelled that correctly and then underscore uri make sure it's uri not url or else that will result in an error just letting you know because it's happened to me many times before and it's really annoying because i can't spell and then for the last one you want to do discord dot ball underscore token and now that you have that um over here you're just going to grab your bot id so how i can do that is if you just go into discord here in my discord server over here this is my bot just click copy id and then what you want to do is head on over to visual studio code again and then just paste it in here like so and then for the client secret you're actually gonna have to do a couple more steps so what you're actually gonna have to do is over here you see me in my web browser and Drome is the bot that we're gonna be working on. So over uh, in OAuth 2, it should say client secret. Now I'm gonna, not gonna review this client secret. Just click copy, and then when you go into your Visual Studio Code, all you wanna do is copy it in here. So just do Control plus V. I put in Control V here as a placeholder. It should not be Control V for you. It should be like a random string of numbers. Then what you want to do is you want to go back into your developer portal and you want to over here on the auth you want to add a redirect now the redirect that we're going to be using is called this this is what it's called and this is just the local host right here it's just this your local public ip uh, this is what everybody's public i guess local ip is and it's not your actual ip address and then this is going to be the port 5000 and then slash callback Make sure it's this or else it will not work so and make sure you just copy this just write it down make sure it has everything's proper click save changes to it and when you go back into your visual studio code here you're just gonna slap it on here so redirect your right like so and this if you go to the link it won't show up first you have to gonna have to run the bot actually or run the file so it actually creates the server and over here for your discord token it's just gonna be your regular bot token if you don't know how to get that, go over here, which you should know how to get it, but I'll just explain it really briefly. Go into here, click bot, click copy on the token, or regenerate if you have to regenerate it. Go back to your Visual Studio Code and just do Control V again. Okay, so what I really quickly did is because I don't want to leak anything. Over here in my config.py, I added two variables and then I just imported that. So, I guess you just won't be able to see my token because it's a bit annoying to refresh every time. And yeah, you guys can do the same that I, uh, that I did. You don't have to, but if you're going to make it public or something, you might, or you might do that. I don't know. You could use the ENV as well. But now we're actually going to get to some of the functions. So, you want to create a variable called Discord. And that's going to be the Discord auth to session and then just pass an app. And then do add a decorator called app.root and this is just going to be the login root so like so and then do async def login we don't need anything to pass in here but all we're going to do is just do return await discord dot create session usually we would have to create a whole different file for authentication not in this case just because we are using core underscore discord then what we're gonna do is create a callback so same thing here app.root 
and this time it's going to be callback so slash callback and then do a sync dev you guessed it it's callback and then in here we're going to have a try and accept statement so just try and it will try to do this good bad callback make sure you don't pass anything in and make sure it is awaited and then you're going to add an accept at the bottom so if that does not work then you're going to do return and then over here this word we're going to use the redirect so redirect and then url underscore four and then this is going to redirect you to the url for login so if you haven't logged in properly it's going to do that and lastly if all of this works out then it's just going to do return redirect url underscore for and this will let you in on the dashboard so this will just redirect you to the dashboard so it should look something like this and now we're gonna code two more things what we're gonna do is do app dot root and this is just gonna be the home page async adapt home or let's just do index for this one and then do return await render template and this is where we're gonna render an HTML file. The HTML file isn't specified yet, but it's just gonna be called index.html. Uh, we'll get onto this in the later portion of the video. And then lastly, we're gonna create another app.root. And in that, this is going to be at a dashboard. So do async dev dashboard, and we're not going to pass in anything again. And this one should be dashboard. And I'm just going to change this to double quotes just for the sake of, I guess, um, keeping it uh, cons consistent throughout. And over here, we're going to do two lines of code, which is going to be user equals await discord dot fetch user and then do return await render dot template and then this can be dashboard dot html comma user because these are we're going to be grabbing the user argument inside the html file so you're going to need that and lastly let's do if underscore underscore name equals main this is just a good programming practice that I think everybody should do so that's why I'm gonna add it here run debug equals true and surprise surprise that's it for this but it's not it for the whole video it's just it for the Python now we're gonna get into some HTML and that's why I told you to watch those other two videos if you haven't already so we're going to create a folder called template and templates you can call whatever and inside uh, i suggest you call it templates though because it will automatically search for that do index.html we don't have to specify the exact path because it will already look in the templates folder uh for this so just letting you know that and inside index.html what you want to do is do html colon five and it'll automatically give you some startup code and we can start off with the title saying whatever your bot name is so drone dashboard and it's just going to be your index file right when people come into your bot or the home this is what they're going to see i'm not going to style this but i highly suggest you do i might style it on my off time just to show you what you can do but I highly suggest you check out the CSS video so you can understand how you should style this. But all you want to do is just do h1 drone dashboard. Once again, this is all completely optional. But do include this. A href. And what this will do is this will take you to slash login. And then a button. And inside it will say login like so and then actually i forgot to end this off here 
I'm gonna wrap the link tag around it. So it should look like this. Here, I'll make it a bit easier to read. Something like that. And what this will do is this will encompass the button with a login. So every time you click on the button, it will prompt you to the login page. And that's it for index.html. Now let's create dashboard.html and do the same thing. Get this ready and then just do drone dashboard. And here we're going to actually make use of the variables that we have. So let's do h1 saying welcome and then do two of those curly braces so the I guess the web server knows that you're trying to use the variable here and do user dot name and then add like a h2 saying and just like I guess confirm it your ID is and this is all of the same thing that you could do in I guess discord you could grab the channel but there really is no channel to grab so like things like user dot discriminator user dot name user dot ID user dot join date all of that you can grab and I just do your ID is user dot ID and you have to the dashboard and yeah that's it it's really simple so what you would just want to do is go ahead go to your dashboard file and go ahead and click run so I got this error I don't really know why um, I'm, I, and I ran it again and it worked fine so if you do get that error just try running it again and it should work so now as you can see it says serving card dashboard app which is what it's called environment production because we did do insecure it says it will give us a please warning saying please use blah 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 server directly in production it's just trying to tell you don't use the server for distribution and then just it tells you where it's running which is the proper callback that we put in and debug mode on so you want to do control click on this or and what it should actually do is prompt up this and this is just my brave tab and it will say drone dashboard login so we'll go ahead and click login and it will prompt us to this and over here it will tell us where it leads us to the domain which is what we put in and then just let it lets you know what you're gonna I guess get yourself into this is automatically put in so yeah and it's only gonna take what you access so you don't have to use this all and just click authorize and boom it says welcome glow stick which and then underscore because that is my name your ID and this is my correct ID yes I memorized it like at least the first five digits and then it says and you have access to the dashboard when you log in it'll show up your name so if it says welcome I don't know classic and your ID is blah 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 and that's what it's gonna say so if this worked out for you uh, I hope you enjoyed it was really fun to make and you guys requested it for a long time so here it finally is but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video if you enjoyed be sure to hit subscribe it really helps out the channel and until next time close to go see ya